All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. So we are back doing some more Ron White. It's been a while since we've done yeah. some Ron White. Tater salad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they call me Tater Salad. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into this and see what he's talking about. Let's go. <laughs> so he's got this smirk. Thanks, man. I'm going to do, I'm going to start off this evening by asking you a question, because I don't know the answer. Uh, I lost my sunglasses, and uh, yesterday I went to the sunglass hut. Here's the question. Why does a pair of sunglasses cost more than a 25-inch color television Ooh. set? Oh, yeah. Have you ever been uh, to the sunglass hut? Yeah, and I walked right out. Yeah, exactly. Those <laughs> glasses are like expensive. I can get the same shades from Amazon for a lot less. Jesus. Or the beauty supply store. <laughs> I go to the sunglass hut. I see a pair of glasses I like. I don't love them. I don't. I like them. I like them. 309 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> And I asked the guy very politely, how do you sleep at night, you little prick? He <laughs> <laughs> just there for the check. And I told him, and this is true, that two weeks ago I bought a 25-inch color television set from Walmart for 218 bucks. And he goes, well, apparently, sir, you don't get it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> he goes, these glasses eliminate 100% of all UV rays. I'm like, no, apparently you don't get it. This thing decodes a digital satellite signal it picks up from outer fucking space. <laughs> And then it turned out the glasses got basic cable, and I felt like a dickhead. <laughs> it should be for, right. for that price. Shit. Look, Braveheart, fail! <laughs> you ever take a crap so big your pants fit better? <laughs> <laughs> that was so random. <laughs> I'm hoping that happens to me later tonight because oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> these babies don't fit anymore. I'm hoping I'm one big turd away from backing into an old wardrobe. <laughs> Last time I was here, they took me to the blues festival, which, and I love the blues, but the, uh, they need to figure out some problems with the festival. I don't... <laughs> I don't like to party anywhere where you can't just give somebody money and they give you back a beer. You know what I mean? Mm. I stood in line for an hour. My mouth is dry. Mm. I want a beer. I love beer. I know they're selling beer. People are walking away from the front of the line. They've got beer. That's how I figured the whole thing out. <laughs> I get up there. I give the guy my money. He goes, we don't take money here. What? Cashless. What do you take? <laughs> Coupons. Oh, yeah. oh, they give you the tickets. Oh, the, yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. They got to go somewhere else to buy the, the tickets. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Coupons. Coupons. <laughs> Where do I get a coupon? <laughs> See that line over there? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Babe, that's exactly how that was when we went the to the, the Wing Festival. Festival. Oh, it was like, I just wanted to get in line to get some wings. But you got to get in another line to get to the get, tickets right. to stand in another line to get the wings. Right. But then when you get the wings, you can you only get, get so you're Right. You can only get so <laughs> many. I was like, what the hell is this? It was like a food hell. Never again. Oh, Never Jesus. again. Thanks forever. I stood in that line for an hour. I got to show them a driver's license, birth certificate, fill out a form. <laughs> They mail that away. <laughs> Send me back some coupons. <laughs> what are you doing, Ron? I'm waiting on UPS. There's a, that is so ridiculous. There's a good chance I'll have a beer by Thursday. <laughs> I'm partying like a Kennedy right now. <laughs> oh, 
I guess I think that's probably hard. Right. I was game too. I had a hundred bucks cash on me, about a hundred bucks worth of coupons. Oh. Yikes. And then some guys that took me there asked me if I wanted to go to a uh, topless club, and I didn't uh, want to go. <laughs> I just ended up going because you guys backed me up on this. You've seen one woman naked. Do you want to see the rest of them naked? <laughs> <laughs> you could be an old biker chick. You know, they're going to hang down to here. Oh, yeah. Uh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Roll them back up. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Things that make you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then closing time came around and the tabs came out and I found out the titty bar don't accept them coupon. <laughs> Guy at Taco Bell told me to kiss his ass. <laughs> I'll give you forty dollars worth of coupons for a burrito <laughs> with cheese. <laughs> it's all I've got. <laughs> it's a coupon. Mm, burritos. Uh, so Ron White has the most random stories. Yeah. Oh yeah. But somehow. It's funny how we found one that was relatable to us. Yeah, is right. this one? And then what? Were, was he talking about the bear story as well? What, uh, Remember the bear yeah, yeah, story? Yeah, 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 right. And so from that, you learned so much from Ron. Right, yeah. But my thing is, what I enjoy most about him is his delivery. Yeah. And I love how he has, like, when he's telling his jokes, he has, like, this smirk on, on his, his face. face. <laughs> you know that it's funny. Yeah, it's so he's random like, random and it's funny. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so it's like, when he's telling his jokes, he's, like, laughing at his own jokes in his <laughs> But guys, we are on a quest right now for comedians, so if you have any suggestions, leave them down below in the comment section. We'd love to check out some more comedians, as well as knowing who your favorite comedians are. But as always, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see y'all next time. Peace!